Well, it's November the 6th, and uh, we're in the tree here this morning in Iowa. We're set up here on the uh, east edge of a bedding area. We have a brushy cedar ridge right up here in front of us, and we're blowing a west wind. Can we have She illustrated perfectly what we anticipated the movement to be. Cruising this down, uh, downward side of this ridge with spreading wood area on top. Um, so our temps are good. We just had a cold front blow in here to Iowa. Um, temps are in the low 40s. Winds are seven to 10 miles an hour. It should be a really good morning. The stand's relatively low impact. We walked this brushy draw through the middle of the speed field in here this morning. Plan is to sit all day unless something else happens. Excited to be in the tree. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, nice two and a half year old buck out nosing for does. That's two bucks now that have done exactly what we anticipated them doing. Just kind of cruising on this down one side of this bedding area. Um, our wind was perfect. I was a little concerned that we're exposed on the tree. We're not very high above the deer level on this ridge, but that buck never really looked up at us, so it's a really good sign. But uh, encouraging movement so far. And hopefully, it's him right. Yeah, hopefully we can get a bigger one to do that. All right, we actually just climbed down. Um, that wind was actually getting in that uh, ditch and 
kicking south. And that's just not good. And uh, being the first day on this property, we didn't want to push it. That was a really good set. And we're planning on sitting there all day. But it's very important, especially if you only have a week to hunt, you don't blow out your stands early on. And we just didn't want to push it. So we backed out. We did see five bucks in there moving good, but it just wasn't worth sitting in that stand and, and risking uh, blowing it out. So um, the weather's good. And uh, we think we'll see some good movement this week. So we'll see what happens. All right, we just pulled the canoe up to the bank here, and this plot's right here behind us. And a uh, big 160 inch tent just walked across the creek. So they're on their feet. It's what, one o'clock? So we're gonna try and get in the stand. Hopefully, he doesn't get here before we do. I don't know if he's heading to this plot or what, but we'll see. That was pretty cool. All right, we just finally got settled in the stand here. Um, we have a perfect west wind. It's blowing us back off this little food plot, back across this river into this open cornfield that they just cut. Um, we didn't bump anything getting in. We actually saw two bucks in the way in. Um, the temps are good, the wind's perfect. It's November the 6th, and obviously they're on their feet if we just saw that big deer up on his feet uh, just about 40 minutes ago. So we're hoping he makes his way back through this plot tonight. Um, a lot of does have been congregating here in the evenings and the first thing in the morning. So we're hoping one of these big deer is gonna come and send check this plot. Um, I'm excited, it should be a good set. If uh, if we don't kill or have anything crazy happen here, um, tonight we're probably gonna come back in with the canoes in the morning and sit all day, so. Hopefully it'll be a good set. <laughs> together a little bit. Um, maybe that big deer is still on this bottom to the north of us and we can draw them in. Our wind's perfect for rattling. They'd have to cross the river to get downwind of us. So I'm in them together. Switchblade, ain't it? Yeah. Oh my god, what a gorgeous buck. Well, maybe I'll come back through. I can still see him. Yeah, I know, I can see him too. But he's going the other way now. <laughs> this is crazy. We just got in, I don't know, 45, 50 yards away as a big shooter buck. And uh, Ross got a good look at him. I mean, he came to 40 yards. It looked like he was going to come right to the poor man, but he just hung out. Hung up, I should say. And uh, 
I grunted at him, got him to rip up a licking branch and paw the ground. But he walked the other way, but that's actually a buck we called Switchblade Sam. Really big, <laughs> 10 with a bunch of junk on his bases. So definite shooter, definite really nice deer. So we've seen two real big bucks <laughs> tonight. So hopefully one will come back through at some point here. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there's some nice bucks on this place, but the dude deer really want to shoot her switchblade at Mr. Wilson. Man, I hope I didn't help with that. I know you didn't. I'll tell you what, it's on right now. It's on. It's not a shooter, it's how that buck. November the 7th here in Southern Iowa and it's my favorite day of the year to hunt. Um, November 7th always seems to fall right in the thick of it and I think we're, uh, we're right in the thick of it this morning so it should be a great morning. Um, we're back in the same set that we were in last night when we saw the three biggest shooters on this farm that we know of. I'm starting to see some bun bucks by themselves. <laughs> I haven't been seeing many does and um, the bucks are on their feet all day long so it is definitely on this farm. Um, we have Pretty, pretty light wind, but it's west, which is perfect. We'll just back over this creek. It's supposed to pick up a little more, but uh, it should be an awesome, awesome sit. Uh, we're gonna try to sit all day, and hopefully we can get it done today in Southern Iowa. I think it's that buck we sit now. It is? Yeah. I think you might have liked the okay.
make Bakhtis. I think I saw a shooter up there. Yeah, well, I just saw a big deer. Yeah, like a shooter up there. He was a huge deer. Oh, there's a buck. Well, that's a big buck. I don't know. Did you get re recording it? Yeah. Well, we saw a little bit of excitement here. Um, we had two does running on us like they were getting chased, and I was watching them and all of a sudden up this road here. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a big, just a flash, but I'm sure it was one of those big deer ran and jumped the road. Then a doe was behind um, him. We're getting pushed, and there was another buck behind him, and then they went back, ac went back across. So I don't know how much footage we got of it because it happened pretty fast, and there's a deer running all over. So um, hopefully one of those does will bring that buck by that stand here by our stand here in a minute. But uh, the wind's picked up a little bit, but it's still perfect, perfect west. So temps are good. Everything's looking good. So. Hopefully it's going to be a good morning. Oh, there's one behind him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's him. Yeah, I see. I don't think it's a shooter. Right. That's the right there. I'm gonna draw him just to see if not. Since June, we put cameras out on this farm way back when I was
was here in June. Oh, and he was the first deer we got pictures of just when he was just starting to grow. And he lives up. Oh, just, that's an awesome buck. Oh, man. I'm just pretty worked up. This hunt's been four years in the making and it means a lot to me. We're hunting here on this tiny little farm that I got permission on. I've been planning on hunt. John and Eric and the guys at the office really helped me out and it means a lot to me. Um, awesome, awesome. <laughs> We did it, buddy. <laughs> oh. You did it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> great. We heard him crash. His blood trail looks really good. So let's take it up and hopefully he's right here. He's right there. Let's go on this way. Great buck. <laughs> let's get him out of here. Well, here's Dennis. We just pulled him out. He only went about 60 yards, pulled him back to this poor man plot. Um, he's a great deer, lots of history with this deer. Like I said before, we've had pictures of him all the way back to June, and he's lived on this 40 acre piece. Um, November 7th, cold front, in an awesome, awesome setup, and this is the result right there. Um, we've seen some great, great activity the past couple days. I can't even count how many bucks we've seen. Just an awesome close to my Iowa chapter, four years in the making.